Hey guys, Dave here from Wolf in the Wild Survival. Just doing a little bit of fishing today, unsuccessfully, and uh, noticed something here that uh, I thought I would share with you guys. A tree had come over, which is kind of fortunate for us because it brought down something that is the subject of this video. It's called Climbing Bittersweet, otherwise known as American Bittersweet. Now, by the name, you would almost think that it was part of the nightshade family, but as it turns out, um, it seems it's part of the holly family. So still poisonous, just not as poisonous as I initially thought it would be uh, by its name. Now, this, there are invasive species that are related to this, but this is actually a native species throughout a lot of the U.S. and up here into Canada a little bit. And... Perfect. All right. So it is like a vine. It's it's a climbing vine, but it's very woody. It's it's very almost like a tree. Its leaves almost kind of similar to to the leaves of a of an apple tree, but uh, some differences. Very interesting uh, uh, serrations on on the leaf. The berries themselves, they, they start out sort of a, a greeny brown kind of whatever, but eventually they, they do turn into like an orange and a red where the casing actually opens up to reveal the berry inside, which is a nice orange red color. Now, they don't seem to, the berries, they don't seem to bother most mammals. Birds, rabbits, squirrels, uh, they all take advantage of these things. And the berries actually stay on the vine throughout the winter. So species that don't go into hibernation or migrate out of the area will take advantage of these as a food source in the wintertime. So uh, they're, they're, they're a popular garden item. Uh, so that, you know, some people, it, it attracts nice wildlife uh, throughout the winter that, you know, stays awake and doesn't take off. Um, to humans, the berries are mildly toxic. Uh, probably give you like a, a stomach ache, maybe diarrhea, cramps. Um, it won't be a good day, but, I mean, it won't kill you. Now, as for the taste of them... I'm assuming by the by the name bittersweet it would have a slightly bittersweet taste, but hmm, it might be a little early. They might not be ripe enough yet. They don't seem to have much of a taste, and they're right full of bright white pits. Very very oh fell right off. Very very bright white little pit seeds in them. And, yeah, they don't seem to have much of a taste really at all, or at least not right now. So, in theory, you probably could uh, eat a lot of them before you realized uh, that you, you messed up. Um, uh, a lot of the poisonous berries around my area taste very bad, so you're not likely to eat a lot of them. But uh, these ones, with the name Bittersweet, I'm assuming they don't taste that bad when they have a flavor. But on that, I don't know. Doesn't seem to have much of a taste at all right now. Um, and yeah, like I say, they very, very long, very, very woody vines. This probably, from the way the tree fell over, this vine would probably be close to like 20 feet. Um, so it, it is a very long, very large climbing vine. So there you have it, guys. 
American bittersweet, also known as climbing bittersweet. Not, uh, not a particularly useful plant to know other than you know to avoid it, not to eat it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, share, all that, you know, kind of regular stuff. And I will see you in the next video. I just wanted to give a huge thank you and a shout out to one of my subscribers, Matthew, for showing me this area that I've shot this video in today. It's, uh, I've never been here before other than when he was here two days ago with me, he showed me the area. I've gotten some really nice video opportunities and uh, thank you so much, buddy. I really like the place and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be hanging out here a fair bit, uh, at least for a while. Um, especially fishing. It's got a really nice fishing hole. So that's, uh, that's, that's what we were doing here when I thought of doing these videos. So thanks, buddy. I really appreciate it. See you guys soon.